Yo, what is up everybody, and welcome back to another Madden 22 online CFM game. We are now in week 11 of the 2024 season here in the Premier Madden League. Last time out, we got a couple of CPU dubs that moved to our record to a pretty good 7-2 mark. But now we officially begin the second half stretch of 2024 for our Houston Texans and we start off against the rival Jacksonville Jaguars. This is a big game more so for our squad than the 2-8 Jags whose season is all but done already at this point. We have ourselves a breakout game once again for Anthony Schwartz. How about that? Back-to-back -back dev games for Schwartz who just got Superstar and now has a chance to go to X Factor. What a couple of weeks this has been and on top of that we have this offensive breakout. I don't know exactly what it does for us. It says we get a boost if we get three passing touchdowns or more in the game. We'll try it. We'll give it a go but more importantly we are going to try to get this Anthony Schwartz thing. 200 yards is a lot to ask but look if anybody can make it happen it's the Flash. He's had some big games against the Jaguars in the past but of course Schwartz missed the first meeting of Jaguars Texans due to a practice injury. As you guys saw, we uh, extended a contract to Cam Grugier Hill. He's been a good member of our team. He's still got 88 speed, so we can definitely rock with him for the rest of the cycle. We got another primetime game as well. It's Sunday Night Football. Both of our games against the Jaguars were primetime matchups, and yeah, we've been on primetime television a lot in these first games of this season. So here we go, and you know, hopefully this time around we can actually finish the game against the Jaguars, but more importantly, sweep the Jags and move them to a very distraught 2-9 record as we are underway with some Week 11 Sunday Night Football. It's the Jaguars and the Texans. This has been quite the rivalry. I don't know what word we can use to describe it, but this opening play describes it pretty well. I mean, it paints a picture on the canvas for you. Trevor Lawrence throwing an awkward pass, getting a complete next play. Lawrence tries it again, but this time he puts his hands in the cookie jar and Jamal Hill, oh, Jamal can ball out there for sure. He's starting to get his sea legs under him during his rookie campaign as Howell sets the feet, fires, and already it's a connection to Anthony Schwartz. That's a gain of 27 yards as we give it to Lorenzo Lingard here at the goal line, and we actually lose three yards back to the ground game to pretty much get the yardage we lost says one of the defensive linemen for the Jaguars on the ground in pain as we bring up a third down we put Galladay in motion only three on the rush Howell's gonna try to do it himself oh that was risky right there he took the hit and did not even get the touchdown. And on fourth down and goal, we're actually going to line up on offense as the play clock is winding down. And we're second guessing the decision. And yeah, we're going to kill the play right here. I thought about it, but I just didn't really feel that comfortable going for it. I feel like, you know, the Jaguars play good goal line defense. They stopped our run game a couple of times. So, you know, we'll just pick the field goal here. We'll be happy about the interception. Points off of turnovers is something I always want to get rather than just naturally driving downfield as Cruje Hill celebrates his new contract in style as Travis Etienne getting the carry. Cruje Hill, of course, only plays when we're out in 3-4 sets. He doesn't play uh, nickel and dime because we have Monte Nicholson playing sub linebacker in that second spot next to Roquan, but he's still an essential part of this team as on third down, no one blocks the edges and does Drew Sanders and Drake Jackson collide oh my Trevor Lawrence has to be wondering why he was so betrayed as Howell backing way up on the run in trouble but gets it off to Brevin Jordan we were definitely eyeing the deep shot to Schwartz but it was pretty well covered. No need to take risk right now. We're early in the ball game. We got a lot of time to make this happen. And Schwartz is covered once again. So Sam Howell breaking the pocket. Ice downfield. That's Christian Kirk. Oh, he tried to go sky high for the ball and might have drawn a penalty. And he did. Oh, that's a backbreaker for Jacksonville. 40. Five yards on the pass interference as Schwartz moving. Got the edge. And Schwartz almost got the end zone. Oh, so close. Instead, it's a goal to go at the one. And we're actually going to lose a couple of yards once again with Lorenzo Lingard. So we dial up Joe Mixon to once again try to bandage what's going on. But we are struggling here at the goal line. And it seems like this always happens against the Jaguars. I don't know why. They always play stingy goal line defense on us. So we're going to 
gonna call a timeout to make sure we got the right play on third down and goal. And it's Sam Howell keeping and scoring. Last time Sam Howell ran the ball on third down, it was not a design play like that. That was a built-in read option RPO right there. And we chose to keep it with Howell. I might have been able to throw that ball right there, but the lane opened up. The Red Seas parted, and why not get Sam Howell that touchdown? It would have been nice to get the touchdown with Schwartz, of course, because four touchdowns would help us, and we won't even need the 200 yards, as that'll be incomplete. But, hey, man, we also got to focus on winning this game, right? We're not going to jeopardize winning the game. Though we're going to... We're going to try to come pretty close to that. Like, if it comes down to it, I mean, we might be sabotaging. We might be selling a little bit to get this dev story. But, of course, defensive side of the ball, nothing to do with the dev story. We're just all locked down efforts over here as that'll be Lawrence getting it off to Billingsley. And you can tell that quarterback clock has already been accelerated a little bit due to some of the pressure we've generated so far as Lawrence middle but it's working out as he's able to find the rookie Hester middle of the field injury to the right tackle Cam Robinson he'll be okay to check back in as the blitz is picked up that'll be a quick pitch and catch to DJ Chark and now Drew Sanders is on the ground not what we want to see Drew Sanders has had a breakout campaign in his sophomore season as Trevor Lawrence forced to throw the ball away third down it's it's Etienne out the backfield with the ball. Spins off a Roquan Smith and gets the first down. Penalty on the play. And that's holding. That's costly. And it is on Cam Robinson. Fresh back into the game and makes a huge mistake. Wipes away the great effort by Etienne. Now it's third down and 12. And that's a swat and a half by Monte Nicholson. That'll bring out Josh Lambeau for a 56-yard field goal attempt in the dome at NRG Stadium. Lambeau is up and through. Of course, Josh Lambeau, he has a history of missing a key field goal or two in this rivalry, but that time he's able to net the long bomb. But still, we'll take that. That's a win for us. Look at that. Schwartz, major separation, toasting C.J. Henderson, and the flash with the dash, 75 yards to pay dirt, and that is definitely going to help us out in our quest to get Anthony Schwartz to a superstar X-Factor dev. That was mega. And unlike last time we had this dev story, we were playing the CPU. We got to earn it on the gridiron for real right now. And hey, Schwartz is doing that. I remember Anthony Schwartz got that plus five release from that tandem breakout game that he also had against the Packers. That probably helped a little bit because he absolutely won on the press as Lawrence steps out of bounds. And I don't think he got the first down. So we give credit to Drake Jackson for scaring him as RPO on third down. That's Deontay Johnson, a little out of control, but good enough for the first down. But Trevor Lawrence and the Jaguars are struggling to pass the ball. And we know this Jaguars team to be a pass first squad. So making Lawrence uncomfortable, that was the game plan. And it's working out so far, though. That was a tight window throw completed. That might give him a bit of an edge is ETN running the ball and you see ETN not many rush attempts in this one it's a lot of Lawrence dropping back and that's kind of what we prefer we kind of prefer teams to just rear back and you want to throw the ball 30 times good luck is I mean our pass rush should be able to get there pretty quickly a second down it's a run but hey man you run the ball we got some big boys up front we got Roquan Smith shooting gaps all over the place as he does so well third down it's a run and Henderson he only got a yard, but that's all he needed before our two safeties collided to make the play as Lawrence quick throw. DJ Chark, by far the best drive the Jaguars are put together today as we're midway in the second quarter. Oh, but they struggle to get these first downs. It's going to be another battle on third down and one. ETN gets it. ETN for the first down and wrapped up by Grugier Hill as they chew clock and get ETN the ball and it's only going to be a gain of two as Lawrence dropping back first read is in there and the play is over as Aiden Hutchinson put the heat on now it's third down to go with the six it's a free play this is offsides oh look at Drew Sanders he got the pressure and we had the clams oh but Drew Sanders Maybe got that pressure by being offside. So now it's third down and goal at the three as they put a man in motion. That is Johnson. And Etienne is carried for the touchdown. That was a bang, bang play. Aiden Hutchinson got him. But it is a touchdown for Etienne. Boot doesn't review it. So the touchdown stands. PAT up and good. And the Jaguars with a great drive that took, I believe, over seven minutes. It said right there in 15 plays have calmed things down because our Texans, we were trying to make this a blowout, but 
It looks like we're going to have a legitimate game on our hands tonight as we go play action on first down. Oh, that was the wrong button right there. I actually meant to throw it to Mixon, but either way, that was tight window, and we got it to go as we get it to Davis Allen. As we hit the two-minute warning, big third down. Jaguars could use this ball back to cut into the deficit as we go play action. Looking downfield, that's Anthony Schwartz. He's torched him again in man coverage. Anthony Schwartz is an absolute problem now as we go back to number four he makes the play gets us into the red zone 90 seconds to go in the first half Joe Mixon on the run we have not ran the ball with anything close to success in this ball game so on third down and three we're gonna motion Lingard but definitely not to run the ball we're gonna give it to Sam Howell got it to Lingard out the backfield what a spin move by Lorenzo Lingard to the four yard line that's a first down and Sam Howell is nine for nine to start this game Joe Mixon he's able to find the lane and score the touchdown that might have been the mistake we were making in our previous couple of drives when we Kept on giving it to Lorenzo Lingard on first down. Oh, Joe Mixon is the bell cow back. As fun as Lorenzo Lingard is used with, or fun to use with at 95 speed. Joe Mixon is the guy. He's got like 95 break tackle, right? That's who you want at the goal line. And well, he didn't have to break any tackles. It's Drew Sanders. What a first half he's put together. And this is almost like normal now. It's a classic Drew Sanders game. Of course, Drew Sanders had, what, four sacks against the CPU Packers last week. As Lawrence with the drop back in the flats. The ETN that'll stop the clock. Jaguars only have one timeout left as they get that one off in the flats to DJ Chark. And Lawrence right now using the sidelines as his best. Best friend play action, Lawrence looking, late throw, got him, Billingsley to tight end, for the first down, got very far away from Bradley Roby in man coverage, Lawrence nothing to have, and he, oh, I think he tried to throw that one away, hard to tell because once again, Drew Sanders all over him, 30 seconds to go now, look at the pressure by Sanders and Jackson, they're winning their matchups every time, third down, delayed fourth man on the blitz, and Lawrence is whacked again, Trevor Lawrence bruised and battered around as Drew Sanders and Trey Jackson consistently tee off on him. Those tackles of the Jaguars are having an absolute nightmare as Jackson and Sanders have quickly developed in one of the to one of the best pass rushing tandems in the entire league. That's not even a stretch. Drake Jackson and Drew Sanders, they are those dudes. 10 seconds to go here. Maybe a deep shot to Schwartz. Oh, actually Christian Kirk in the corner. And he steps out of bounds with seven seconds to go. Once again, gonna keep eyes downfield for Schwartz. He's been a master at the end of halftime. Uh oh, but we actually dial up now. Troy Franklin, the rookie's first reception of the game with one second to spare. And what a quick ditch drive we put together to get the three points right back from Jacksonville. After they, you know, put together a lot to get that drive, we did it in about 20 seconds. Two quick hitters, and hey, we'll take that. And we get ball to start the second half with our offense in a good flow. This is a big opportunity here for a potential put-away drive. If we can manufacture things correctly as we're looking down low. Got it to Christian Kirk. And we still need some more yardage for this Anthony Schwartz dev story, though. So we're definitely going to put him on a jet sweep. See what we can get. Need that block from Mixon, and we got it. First down and more. The spin move. Not going to do anything, but Anthony Schwartz continuing to rack up the yardage. We'll wait a second to see exactly how many receiving yards Schwartz has today. 184. We're only 16 away. Oh, Joe Mixon. He's getting himself acclimated into this ball game. That one touchdown was all he needed to get his confidence going. Downfield for Schwartz. Oh, that would have done it and gotten the touchdown as he got behind Shaquille Griffin. Instead, it's a miss. Oh, Joe Mixon doesn't miss with that stiff arm. My goodness. That's a first down on the run. Dropping back with Sam Howell looking outside. Brevin Jordan's first reception of the ball game. It's a gain of six yards. Sam Howell with a sterling performance. 14 for 15. Then we go back to Joe Mixon, and he's able to muscle Cisco down to the seven yard line. Mixon's on fire. Oh, we do what we said we weren't going to do. We give it to Lingard on first down, but on second down, we dial up Mixon, and he's in the end zone yet again. First one free activated, but he didn't need it because the blocking was free on that play. Out the Wildcat, the direct snap to Joe Mixon. We find the end zone once more, and that's exactly what we wanted, right? You know, not, we, my, 
wanted to take a little bit longer in that drive. I don't know. But we scored a touchdown. That's what we really wanted. It took about four minutes. It feels like it was done as well as we could have done it as Trevor Lawrence throwing the ball away. Clearly, Lawrence's confidence is shaken, right, especially after some of those crazy throws he was making at the very beginning of this game. The pass rush, the interception we got seems to have really disrupted his rhythm in this game. And, and Drew Sanders, man, and Drew Sanders, is he's made that left tackle, like, uh, his worst enemy right now. That left tackle is going to have nightmares about Drew Sanders. Fourth down. Jaguars going for it here from their own 31-yard line. And, oh, a sliding catch. It's still going to be a catch in bounds, though. Hester almost made a big mistake as we whack Trevor Lawrence yet again. I mean, the ice bath for Trevor Lawrence, he's going to need it on Monday. He's going to need an extended one because uh, this has been a rough ball game for him. 18 for 31, and that doesn't even include all the quarterback hits we've gotten in this one. It's ETN running the ball. Maybe they could have used a little bit more ETN. He's doing okay in this game as Lawrence rearing back. And that's a nice play by Dobbs getting away, looking for the end zone. Tried to dive over Traymon Smith. Got it to the three as ETN learns nothing comes easy at the goal line against these Texans. Roquan on the tackle. Third down. It's Chandler Cox denied on the fullback dive. And on fourth down. I mean, the Jaguars have to go for it on fourth down. Down by 21. Watch out, Sanders. And that's going to be a throwaway. That's not what the Jaguars needed, a throwaway. As Howell sets his feet. One Schwartz double coverage. Oh, but that ball died in the air on its way to Anthony Schwartz. And that's the first real mistake we've made on offense in this ball game. And definitely a play where I try to force the dev story right there. And probably should have not lobbed it, but still. Um... Never should have thrown it. It's Drew Sanders, man. This is insane. He only has one and a half sacks to his name, but quarterback hits as well. He's got to be in double digits. But we end the third quarter with the Jaguars still having a pulse. New set of downs. Oh, man. But for how much longer can they keep Trevor Lawrence upright? Jackson and Sanders teeing off every play as Aiden Hutchinson gets injured yet again oh my goodness trevor lawrence he's got bruises all over his body bringing up a third down and 10 quick throw billingsley bouncing off a of Traymond smith and getting the first down the jaguars they'll run some no huddle here as a team will normally do down by 21 but lawrence is buried again this time by monte nicholson who looked like he came in unblocked pressure bus pipes and I don't know who that was intended for almost hit the linesman now it's third down and 20 only three on the rush and the pressure still gets there Lawrence got it to ETN that's not a first down but that'll make this fourth down very manageable once again Jaguars field goal is not an option they gotta line up here and that they will with Lawrence eight minutes to go in regulation setting his feet against the four-man rush and he's buried by Roquan Smith and this pass rush has completely frustrated the Jaguars as Joe Mixon he's trying to dazzle the crowd here at NRG Stadium but remember, we still need to get some more yardage with Anthony Schwartz. And that should do it. That should be the X-Factor dev story done and dusted. We'll wait for the official yardage number here on Anthony Schwartz. 2-0-2. That is just enough. And at this point, I'm not even going to throw the ball to Anthony Schwartz. Definitely not put him on a jet sweep. Not going to jeopardize losing two yards by any means. We're just going to run the ball with Joe Mixon and see if Joe can end this game on his own merit, which so far is definitely working. What a move by Mixon inside. Oh, Joe Mixon's change of direction is elite. And all of a sudden, he's working on a 100-yard performance as Lingard. He's been stuck in the mud all day long. But Joe Mixon, he's been a workhorse. And that does put Mixon over 100 yards after the slow start to this game. Still on fire. Joe Mixon trying to get that first down and... Oh, he didn't get it. Fourth and inches, and we're going to line up for the field goal here to make it a 24-point game. It's still a three-possession game, and, you know, maybe we could go for it there, but, I mean, we might as well just kick our three, right? Like, the Jaguars still have to do a lot to get back into this game, and that's not going to help. Slow motion on the kick return. Maybe it was a good idea. I don't know, because... He got the 33-yard line. I don't know what just happened. That is Jamal Hill 
with great closing range on the pass intended by Tim Patrick. As Lawrence, hey, you gotta give Trevor Lawrence credit. He's still going for it. Whacked as he throws. Incomplete in traffic intended for the running back, Etienne. Under three to go in regulation now as we're just looking to wrap this game up as quickly as possible. But the Jaguars are still giving it their best shot despite being two and eight and down by 21 points here in the fourth quarter. Lawrence, oh, he tried to get it to Deontay Johnson, but that was the kill shot by Roquan Smith. A turnover on downs as Deontay Johnson stood no chance trying to corral that football with Roquan crushing his spirits in the open field. Third down here, and we're just going to run it with Lorenzo Lingard. Oh, it looked like there might have been a lane for us to get that first down, but on fourth down and two, we'll line up for the field goal. This is to make it a four possession game as if this game didn't already feel over. Now it should be. <laughs> and yeah, we kick the field goal right there. Just trying to clock. Just trying to get out of this game, like I said. We're trying to find a way to end this game as soon as possible. Obviously, this is just not Jacksonville's season. And it's definitely not their game today. But uh, yeah, I don't know. They definitely got to work on their offensive line if they want to have a chance next season. But nine losses, no shot the Jaguars will be in playoff contention at this point of the season. But for our Texans, we're on our way to an 8-2 and two record and to giving Trevor Lawrence just mental issues. Like, poor guy is going to be in therapy for the next couple of weeks talking about this ball game. Third down and 10 here, and Lawrence, is he going to take off? He will. He'll get the first down here, and he's still trying, man. He's still trying at least, but it looks like they put two clock on. Jaguars finally doing something to try to end this game, but oh man, Trevor Lawrence completely off the mark, and probably a good thing, because we were closing in pretty quickly with Justin Reed. Drew Sanders, chill, man. Chill. I mean, Trevor Lawrence, 50 pass attempts, like I said, man, I'm okay with that. Good luck. You want to keep doing that. Have fun at it and continue to put your receivers at risk with Roquan Smith working in the middle of the field. And will they get the final snap off? No. That'll be the final play of the game, the catch by Hester. And that'll do it. The Texans with a 27-point win against the Jaguars on Sunday Night Football. That officially puts us at 8-2. and two. And I would like to say in a pretty solid spot to make a playoff push. But we are still not even close to talking about, you know, playoffs we have to continue winning games before we continue talking about playoffs which is wild to say but the AFC is so top heavy right now that eight and two is not comfortable like not even close to comfortable I, I think the Colts are still only a game behind us right now which is insane yeah they're, uh, a game and a half behind us at this point but for now we'll celebrate the win and getting Anthony Schwartz X-Factor. Let's go. Anthony Schwartz in two weeks has gone from star dev to X-Factor. Remember, Schwartz was normal dev until the end of last season when he got the dev during the Super Bowl week. And now he's made a meteoric rise in the ranks. And uh, we actually did not get this. We were supposed to get three passing touchdowns. I actually forgot about this. But um, I don't know what it would have given us. But it's whatever, man. I, I'm, I'm more than happy enough getting the X-Factor for Schwartz and getting the win for our ball club. But now let's see what that X-Factor is before we wrap things up. So leave a like on this video if you guys enjoy what you guys saw today as Anthony Schwartz gets another upgrade. And he got double me. Oh, hold on a second. Anthony Schwartz would double me. I don't know if he needs it because he usually just runs by everybody. But, hey, man, that's that's pretty nifty, I would say. And he gets plus one acceleration. That was a hefty upgrade. Some nice route running, more cash and traffic. Anthony Schwartz is looking like a beast all of a sudden. Uh, he was a one-trick pony, but now uh, he's got a full skill set out there. So... On that note, leave a like if you guys enjoyed what you guys saw. GG's to Jacksonville. Subscribe for more Madden 22 gameplays. And I will catch you guys next time. Thank you, as always, for watching.